The pilgrims who came to America were among the first to boldly go where no man has gone before. Recently, Star Trek actor William Shatner traveled for a few moments into outer space as part of Jeff Bezos' private space initiative. Understandably, the man who played Captain Kirk seemed deeply moved by the experience. He afterwards described leaving the blue of Earth and looking into space. You're looking into blackness, into black ugliness, he said. Is that death? Is that the way death is? Well, many people imagine death to be that way. It's simply a void, or it's the end of existence. But we know that's not the case, because God's Son, Jesus Christ, defeated death, rising from the grave on the third day, after he was crucified for our sins. And this, Jesus tells us, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The pilgrims who set out into largely uncharted territory believed this with all their being. They made their arduous journey by their own account for the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith. They gained confidence from the fact that there is not mere black stillness awaiting them after this life, but rather a personal God who created us and offers us eternal life. As Mr. Shatner discovered, it is indeed a wondrous creation in which we live, but this creation shows us God, if we are willing to see him. The scripture says, his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So we are without excuse. You see, there is life after death. For those who reject Christ, it's eternal punishment for their sins. But for those who receive him, it's everlasting joy and bliss in God's presence. Have you accepted? God's free gift of eternal life? You can do that right now, even where you sit. If you would like to receive Christ today, pray with me. Father God, I confess to you that I have sinned in many ways and that I deserve your righteous wrath. But Lord, I want to turn my back on my sins and receive your son Jesus, who died for my sins on the cross and who was raised to new life so that I can live eternally with you. Please save me and help me to live for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear friend, if you sincerely prayed that prayer for the first time, we have a vital resource we would like to send to you at no cost or obligation to you. It's beginning again. Dr. Kennedy's book for new believers to guide you in your relationship with Christ. Contact us to receive your copy today and may God bless you as you do.